Hi everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on today's video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make the most darling and unique Christmas ornaments out of these silver or metal um, tart tins, okay? Um, I'm gonna take you step by step through it. And before I do that though, I am gonna tease you about the next project that I have up coming up, which is this. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do. Hey Mary, oh, and if you're um, watching, um, I would love it if you would just pop on and say hi and tell me where you're watching from. That would be great. Okay, so next up today, I'm gonna to show you this next project, which is making Christmas tree books. Um, and it's a super simple folding technique. You're not even gonna believe how easy it is, but I'm gonna put that out of the way so it's not distracting. Um, okay, so when, when I was, sorry, um, in Boise visiting my mom uh, a week ago, we went into one of my favorite thrift shops in Boise. It's called Super Saver. And I bought a whole package of all these little mini tart tins. And there was also one big one, okay? And they were like, I don't know. They had also those silver um, drink coasters that I made ornaments with a few days ago. And it was maybe $4. Anyways, I thought it was such a great deal. Oh, thank you for sprinkling, I appreciate that. Um, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with these. Um, until I got onto Pinterest, my favorite place to do some crafting research, and I came up with a ton of ideas. So since I am still loving vintage sheet music, I decided to use vintage sheet music for mine. So here's the steps. Um, to make these ones, and this one also, I just measured um, about the, the size of the circle on my piece of vintage sheet music that came from Goodwill, um, but maybe you have a trumpet player or a viola player or somebody who's in marching band and there's some music hanging out in your house that you're not using anymore. Um, anyways, I just traced a circle, cut those out, and then the first thing I did is I stenciled them. And so I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've already cut out my little circle and I'm gonna be using this same ornament, this same um, snowflake stencil that I did on this bigger tin on this little um, piece of paper. Okay, and um, this is the same process you would do for any of these. So basically, I am going to use some of this awesome um, stuff, which is got ink on it, and I don't want that all over my hands. Um, it's called uh, gel art ink. It's in black, excuse me, and it's from a maker studio. And I am just going to squeeze a little bit out on a spreader like this. And I'm going to push it through the holes on my stencil, which is sticky, and that makes it easy to use. And it's super quick. I'll pull my stencil off. And voila, this is what you get. It's your little center. Um, I am going to let that dry, but what I would do next is I would just take my little tin, put some glue in the center, lay my little um, cutout from my sheet music in it, um, glue that in, and then taking a brush and some Elmer's glue in clear, I would just dip my brush in the Elmer's glue and go around the edge and maybe a little bit up on the sides. And then using my favorite glitter, which I talk about almost on every live I've done for the last month. <laughs> um, this is called Sulin's Extra Fine Glitter and it's in, the color is sterling. It's from Walmart, it's awesome stuff. I would just shake that over it, tap it off. Using a hot glue gun, I'd put a little bit of ribbon on the back of this one, okay? But I um, had another idea that was a little crazy and I wanted to share that with you too. And that is how I made this one, okay? This is one of these little tart tins too, but 
what I did is I got out a piece of wood and my hammer and I just banged on this thing until I got it flat. So it was more of a disc, okay? And then what I would do is apply a ring of um, hot glue on it, lay my little um, circle, my little disc with the stencil on it, and then do the same thing with the, um, the Elmer's glue around the edges and put glitter on it. And that is basically how I made this one. With this one, I also added a little ring of tinsel on it. So this is a super quick, super easy project. Um, if you try it, I would love to see your results. So feel free to post pictures of any of the projects that you do on my page in the comments. Um, anytime I'd love to see the things that you're making. Uh, let's see what else did I want to tell you. Oh, I was going to tell you that if you have some of these little things in whatever size hanging out at your house and they're a little rusty and yucky, they're even better to work with than when they look brand new. So don't feel like you have to go out and get something new to make these kind of ornaments. And as always, if you love a lot of color for your Christmas tree, or maybe this year you're doing red and white as your theme or green and white or purple, whatever your theme is, you can take this same idea as what I've just shown you and make it using your colors. So I hope that I've inspired you to do something um, a little different and that um, you will take the idea and run with it and make it your own. So I will be DIY dreaming for about 15 minutes and then I'll be back again with another um, video tutorial. This time I'm gonna show you how to make these Christmas tree books that are so stinking cute. And this, the book that I used was $1 from my local dollar store, so. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will join you again very soon. And if you like this video, I forgot to say, if you like this kind of um, project and you have crafty friends out there that like this kind of project too, feel free to sprinkle on your social media. Thanks, bye.